Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Box2D on a Mac. If you're interested in, on, in setting it up on Visual Studio on Windows, feel free, we've got a video covering that. We are using SFML for our render window and sort of about game framework, game engine, but it doesn't really matter whether you're using SFML, SDL, Allegro, your own custom sort of setup. This tutorial isn't about SFML, that's just what I'm using for the render window. So this video will be relative, useful for pretty much any sort of setup you have if you want to use Box2D on a Mac. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Box2D website. So go to Box2D, let's Google that. Go to box2d.org, click downloads, click box2d on GitHub. And from here, you want to clone or download, click download zip. I've already got it downloaded. That will download the latest version. I've said download quite a few times. Once you've got that <laughs> downloaded, you'll get this file. Just extract that. Then within here, what you'll get is a build folder. Just open up the Xcode 6, just open it like so. Just click open, because it's saying it's downloaded from the internet. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Click the run button. Just make sure you got Box2D, my Mac selected, and just click the run button. You only need to do it once. And in products, you'll get this .a file generated, which is your library file. So if I right click, show in finder, and what I want to do now is go to the project that I've already got set up, which for me is SFML, but it doesn't matter what it is. I've got a folder called External Libraries. I'm going to create a new folder in there called Box2D. And in here, I'm going to create a folder called Include, a folder called Lib. In the Lib folder, I am going to place this .a file that was generated. So if I go to the lib folder, paste it in here. In the include folder, what I'm going to do is place the box2d source code. So if I go back to my box2d folder that was extracted, go to box2d, copy the contents of this. Actually, no, you wanna copy this folder, box2d folder, into here like so. And there we go, that is the actual building process and just getting the files into your folder all set up. Now we just need to link it up. So we can close this Xcode project down, go to our Xcode project, click the project right here, go to build phases, click link binary with libraries, click plus, click add other. And now just go to your external libraries folder, box2d, lib, select the .a file, go to build settings, search for header, and it, oh yeah, this is what we were looking for, header search pass, so does not seem to have everything here, so if I get rid of this, okay, oh um, now, if I type for search, it wasn't header I was searching for, it was search. So if I go to here, the header search paths, if I double click that, I already added my SFML library include file. So if I just copy and paste that, click plus, paste it into here, change this to box2d forward slash include. So this will refer to this directory now, external libraries, box2d include. So this is where all our box2d code is. And finally, this is actually all set up now. So I want to show you one last thing. If you go to library search paths, this just gets populated automatically based on the libraries that we add in build phases. You might notice that it's got project underscore dir here and I've got src root, or source root. They're both the same. I just prefer using source root. By default, Xcode adds project underscore dir. And also I believe I have curly braces but you can use the regular brackets as well. You can really use parentheses if you want to. Just wanted to mention that in case you came across it and you were wondering, is there a difference and what the difference is? It's just a preference. So if I go to main.cpp, I can include the box2d file by doing hash, include box2d, box2d.h. Now if I build it, we successfully built 
our project and it has Box2D in it. And if we wanted to use a Box2D variable, for example, an object, you just do something like B2 world, for example, and then you create a world and you can set stuff like gravity and really cool physics properties. So that's it for setting up Box2D on a Mac. Like I said at the start of the video, if you want to set it up on Windows using Visual Studio, feel free to check out our video covering that. If you want to check out the source code from this video, which really there isn't any, but actually if you want to get the actual project itself, you can just download it and run it because it will be relatively linked the way we've done it. You can download that from our GitHub page. There'll be a link in the description to that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.